questions. Who shot your music video? Boy, Boy shit. shit, yeah. Um, this amazing director named Lauren. She's awesome, but um, it was great. Yeah, she's 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 How seriously you, amazing. I have a question. But I like had I like had wanted Madison. to do that concept for so long, and yeah, she was so perfect. Nice and over here. Execute it with. <laughs> yes. <That's so> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he loses control of his own show. <laughs> I love when David has laugh attacks. Like, why is she not? When David why is she literally face towards Natalie and Jason? He like so much. Madison, face this way. Madison, please, over here. <laughs> how do you, have you uh, when you shoot music videos, mm-hmm. how do you pick your love interest in the videos? Is, oh do you go God. through a huge casting thing? So I'm about thing? to say something really bad that I shouldn't say. I cast a love interest that looks just like my little brother for my last video and I had no idea because he doesn't look like my brother at all like looks nothing like him I cast him with his headshots <laughs> looks nothing like him but there's this one angle I can't believe I'm saying this now everyone's gonna be like holy shit that's literally Ryder where he's like it's it's the scene in boy shit where I'm like on like laying on his knee kind of right. his head is down and from that angle the hair and the facial structure when we watched the first cut I was like what have That's I done? I literally freaked out. <laughs> I was like, and then I didn't say anything to my best friend. And I showed it to her and she was like, is that Ryder? And I was like, oh no. Yeah. This is so-. And I couldn't crop him out. He was like, it was like a main part of the video. So how many oh. guys did you go through till you were like, yeah, that's my brother. How many? <laughs> he doesn't look like my brother. No, he really does. I, you know what's funny is I actually cast him in another music video that never ended up coming out. So I, I guess I just kind of like the way this guy looks. But I go through like they send me a folder of like basically who's available, who fits the role. How and then cool is that? That must like be the coolest thing 30, ever. Thirty, forty of them that I just kind of like scroll through. That sounds like so fun. Like who do you want your boyfriend to to be for the day? Yeah. It's fun. Wow. It's fun. And then if you're, uh, have you ever shot a music video when you're in a relationship and your significant other is getting really jealous? Does that happen? Yeah. Because you don't want your boyfriend, you don't want your significant other to be a... But I've never like kissed anyone on camera or done like a scene like that. That's like, I, 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 I'm a very insecure, jealous person. So if my boyfriend I'm the was worst. an actor and he was like making out with some girl, I would, I would, I, I would freak out. My, but you have to also know what you sign up for. So. My ex had to kiss somebody. In, um, Did it break you? My God, I had to fly home. I had to fly home for the moment she was kissing somebody. I thought you were kidding for a second, and I was like, "Oh no, this is serious." <laughs> no, but I get that. It was it's so. A lot. It was. It's like the most brutal thing. It can be a lot, and then they yeah. have to do it, and they're like, "Okay, one more time," and you're like, oh, "Not again." Yeah. Not another. Some take. people are so good with it, though. Like some yeah. people can be like on set and be like, "Yo, be careful, my fucking girlfriend." Like be making jokes and shit. Yeah. But like, no, like, no. The, the guy, I left the state, Madison. The guy in boy, <laughs> the guy, I would too. I 100 percent would too. The, the guy in boy shit, the first guy where you see where I'm on the balcony, he had a girlfriend, and like, I think like, oh my was, god, his was, girlfriend must have been fucking throwing being the biggest really, fit. Like, so that we had to do it like 60 times, right? To basically like walk up to him and like stare into his face. And imagine this fucking girl. I'm sure she's great. But I'm sure she has to be like, you know, a certain kind of girl to be able to be with a boy who's going to gonna get cast no, on to- those things. <laughs> that's, you know, like- but that's the worst gig for him to be cast in. Yeah, Madison Beer's love interest. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You quit acting right now. You fucking asshole. You're not doing that. Are you ever going to get married? Yeah, for sure. And um, is that person going to be like your final person? Yes. Like I'm Oh, not, like, shit. So once you get married, it's... Yeah. Oh, so you well, talk- Ideally. I mean, obviously, I think everyone hopes that, but I, I definitely wouldn't marry somebody who what's too early like, to propose to somebody i don't think there's ever too early if you know that it's like the right person no nah, what about you what about me like <laughs> what? with todd do you feel like you're like hope are you hopeful that you'll be with him forever or do you like not see a future with him that sounds fucked up sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, yeah no fuck him we just celebrated valentine's day she yeah, got a nice sorry. cardi watch that's so <laughs> i don't see up. it much longer to be honest <laughs> <laughs> no but like i mean like do you like think ever like oh like i might marry this person um i definitely think about it and we've been together for a year now so it's like obviously think about it but we've but you also were, like secret for like a little yeah, bit. yeah yeah what um but I, I feel like i know madison i hate it too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh but i, I feel like also we haven't had our relationship like in the real world like we've been like doing our own thing and one oak isn't that. open so we don't I know how it's gonna go you know when that. the bar is open <laughs> Todd's on leash. Todd's on the fucking sidewalk. <laughs> so right now she's got him locked up in the house. But. No, but I think him and I both, like, we love to go out. We're both, like, social people. Mm-hmm. And, like, when I go out, like, I hate having somebody, like, hold on to me and be by me all the time because I just want to float around and talk to people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone like... asked me this the other day. If you're dating somebody mm-hmm. and uh, you're dating your, your boyfriend, whatever, and your boyfriend's liking other girls pictures like bikini pics, is this a problem? I think it's a problem. I wouldn't want my boyfriend's name on another girl's, like, body 
topic. It's a I controversial agree. topic. Matt a lot probably of... would not give a shit, right? But yeah. like, good for her. Like that means she's just <laughs> no, more secure I know. than I am. Like I, that's and just completely too. valid. I'm like, so jealous of so that. So jealous shit. of you. Like I could. I'm I'd call AT and T and I'd say yeah. cancel this landline. Oh, I, I'm <laughs> I don't... so insecure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's also so just funny. like I've been also perpetuated trust issues my entire life, and I feel like I've had like boyfriends cheat on me before and i've had things happen to me that i'm like i, I don't think, trust anybody I think in my past life someone must have really cheated on me because i have some pretty big trust issues yeah for being in no like the me, best too. Relationships. me too <laughs> yeah see that's crazy but like, no, I, i'm like so insecure when it comes to that stuff and i but it's not even like a secure and it's security thing like a comparison thing i'm just more like you're mine and i don't want you looking at right. other people i don't know i had a girlfriend once um before the one i had for a while okay uh, liza i don't know why i made it sound like that but but <laughs> like, i was dating yeah yeah, I was dating this other girl, and she told me, she I was like, "Have you ever cheated in, on like a boyfriend?" And we did it for like a month or two. It was like really quick, but oh, this okay. was this was like three weeks in, and she was like, "Yeah, I, I used to cheat on my boyfriend, um, but but like, and, and I was like, "Would you tell him?" And she's like, "No, I never tell him. Like, oh. it's just what you got to do to keep the relationship alive. Sometimes." What does that mean? And for the next like three weeks, I went with it. I was like, "Yeah, that makes sense." And then I fucking <laughs> and then it like hit me like two weeks in because then I started to like her more. I was like, holy fuck, this bitch is about to cheat on me. Wait, if she cheated on me, that's, yeah, that's, like, that's so wrong. That, and that's wrong. when I got really fucking scared. And I think that's where, from then, I, I was like, fuck, to keep the relationship. And, that, and that's why I've always been, like, so scared of someone cheating on me because it's like, what the fuck, what the fuck? Well, yeah, I think, like, relationships are, like, I'm forming a bond with you where I trust you with my heart. And if you're gonna cheat on me or like do something behind my back that you wouldn't like dr phil one of my favorite people as well he always says that like cheating He'd is never anything. Cheat on you. cheating is any, he would he would never cheat no. on his wife april i think her name is or robin robin robin, robin april i don't know where that came from <laughs> that was good you i guess happens dr phil sometimes get it right madison wow that's really good but he always says cheating is anything you wouldn't do with your significant other in the room and i believe that i firmly believe that like i think if i heard my boyfriend talking about a girl like who's not me and any you know what i mean like i would be like what the fuck right, are you right, doing right. and like i don't know i think relationships are just tricky and if you're not ready to be in one don't be in one because you Damn. can really mess with someone's head and someone's heart if you like break their trust like it nothing hurts more and i feel like every person has experienced this who's been in a relationship but then like if you're going through your boyfriend's phone who you already have like a little bit of trust issues with you're like shaking like i don't want to i don't want to find what i'm looking for but i'm probably going to and it's the worst feeling if you especially if you do you're just like, man, I love you, and I think I know you, and I don't know you, and that hurts so much. You and me in a relationship would be we fucking would be a like, disaster. Show me your messages. <laughs> we, w- we wouldn't even be using our own phones at this point. We would have just switched phones. Yeah, we would both have our assistants running our Instagram, so neither of us looked at our feeds or anything. I would like you so would be funny. like good in a relationship, though. I feel like you would. I feel like I always ask for one, but then when I think about it, I'm just like, okay, there's like this cigarettes after sex song that I really love. They're like one of my favorite bands, and there's a lyric that literally the song's called "Cry." Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> after sex called. too actually <laughs> before <laughs> and after yeah. for me so no cigarettes I though i hate tobacco he if they there's <laughs> a lyric full of tears there's a lyric in the song that's literally the chorus is like it's making you cry every time like basically it's like i can't be faithful to you but hopefully one day i will be and he's like completely telling this girl basically like, i love you but i won't be faithful to you so like i'm asking i'm the reason i'm saying that is there a reason that you feel like you wouldn't be in a relationship do you feel like you couldn't be faithful do you feel like no you i would be, like, never ever ever fucking cheat like when I was in my last relationship, like I couldn't look, I couldn't function. I was like, I'm not looking at another girl. Madison, I would have never met you if I was in a relationship. Like right. I, I would have never like let you So you feel meet like it me. puts kind of like hinders on life. It's kind of yeah, like. Like if, if I, if we made eye contact. But, is it, but then is it worth it? You have to like weigh out the pros and cons of like, is it. That's what I'm saying. And this was when I was young and I was like, yeah. I was an idiot. But like, but like if I was in a relationship and we made eye contact, I would have been like, nope. And I would have never fucking had a conversation Good with you. Good for you though. I think that's Yeah, like... but it's like, it's too much. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, still live know. your life and do this. But I yeah, think. Yeah, still live your I life. But like, totally... if you find someone, like, I also kind of think it's like sweet and romantic to Listen, cut I'm, everyone I... else off. Because what, what, what is everyone else going to offer you if you found someone who like loves you because like everything's smoke and mirrors too that's the whole thing about life is that everything's bullshit and like if you find someone who loves you and respects you and trusts you and that you trust and that makes you feel good and like gets you there's not much better out there so i think that's, that's why I'm a lot saying. of people's relationships end is because they're always searching for something better and they're always like well what else is out there it's like nothing else is out there so if you're happy just be happy one day it'll just be me and natalie and i know that uh 
I know that me waiting this long will be you, worth it. You guys already live together. It's super easy. She's moving out. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I think yeah. Natalie's my scapegoat when we talk about relationships. I just like make a joke about Natalie just to not like actually say the truth. I'm going through a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh. That's all the time we have for this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening.